M. Trudeau, une frappe israélienne sur Gaza a fait plus de 200 morts dans un hôpital. Il y a la France, il y a l'ONU qui dit que le blocus est illégal. Pourquoi on ne peut pas faire la même chose? Euh, écoutez, euh, les nouvelles qui sortent de Gaza aujourd'hui sont... Euh, dévastatrice, c'est horrible, c'est inacceptable. Le Canada s'attend à ce que euh, le droit humanitaire international soit toujours respecté. Et ça légal, va toujours être notre, hôpital, notre position. Euh, non, c'est pas légal. Uh, the uh, news coming out of, uh, of Gaza is uh, horrific and absolutely unacceptable. Um, international humanitarian and, and international law needs to be respected uh, in, in this and in all cases. There are rules around wars and it's not acceptable to hit us. The NDP is calling for a ceasefire and I wonder what you think of that. I share the concern that all Canadians do about what's happening in Israel, Gaza and the West Bank right now and we want to see an opportunity for an end to this conflict as soon as possible. What Mr. Singh doesn't account for, however, is the fact that in Israel's right to defend itself is the necessity to deal with the threat of Hamas. If a ceasefire takes place right now without an ability to deal with the threat that Hamas continues to pose, then we are simply going to see the extension of a loss of life, a loss of life in Israel and a loss of life in Palestine. So we have to be very mindful of the fact, and I said this on the floor of the chamber yesterday during our take note debate, that although I appreciate the NDP's moral objection to violence, one that I believe we all share ideally, it is not pragmatic, practical or realistic right now to expect Israel to simply lay down its arms, because if they do, they are simply subjecting themselves and therefore further to that, the Palestinian people to further violence at the hands of Hamas. Uh, I'll maybe just ask you about a humanitarian corridor. Obviously, we know that's where much of the international community is putting the emphasis right now. How realistic is it that Canada can contribute to uh, a meaningful change on that issue? And maybe we'll just let the street sweeper go by. Um, but, it, you know, what, what role can Canada really play in, in uh, something where you see the United States, Egypt, all of these powers involved? I think Canada has a critical role to play. Minister Jali was on the ground, as you know, a few days ago, working with our allies to try to find peaceful resolutions, ways in which we can address the humanitarian issues that are uh, emerging out of Gaza. Uh, Canada is an important broker on the world stage. We have historically been there in our capacity as bridge builders, as peacekeepers. Minister Jali and the Prime Minister are in frequent contact with world leaders around the country and particularly in the region. And I think that there's a continued role for us to play in terms of working with governments like the Egyptian government to open up corridors so that we can start to see some relief for the uh, Palestinian people in Gaza in particular while Israel is able to follow through on the necessary means it has within its right to defend itself to deal with the threat of Hamas. Thank you. What do you think of the NDP calling for a ceasefire uh, in the uh, Hamas-Israel conflict? You know, Israel has a right to defend itself just like any other country would. And uh, this is a time to rally behind Israel, recognize that they have that right, and uh, support our democratic allies in the land of Israel. Thank you. You're very close in location to Concordia and McGill, where the Legault government wants to boost tuition for out-of-province people up to yeah. 17 grand, 17 grand to go to bishops. What do you think about all this? Well, I think it's going to hurt uh, the post-secondary education sector in Quebec. Uh, and it's not a good thing for, for, the future, uh, for the future of those institutions and for the economy that depends on those institutions. Uh, and that foreign investors, quite frankly, uh, you know, look to when they decide whether they're going to uh, you know, invest in, in Canada. They want to know that there's good infrastructure, educational infrastructure, as well as, uh, as, well as other kinds of institutions. So, no, I'm, I, I think it's, uh, I'm not pleased with, with that news, no. Do you see this as a, as a populism move? I mean, it, surely the Quebec government doesn't need this sort of extra cash. Uh, just wait for the truck, if you wouldn't mind, just going by there. And, okay, truck's by. Well, I, I, I think it's a wrong move. Uh, uh, I don't know how else you want to qualify it, but I'm, I'm disappointed in, in what I'm, I'm seeing there.
Quels devraient être les frais de scolarité que met une province pour les habitants d'une autre province? Euh, ben, pardon, vous pouvez... Quel devrait être le niveau des frais de scolarité pour les habitants d'une autre province? Euh, écoutez, je ne suis pas expert dans les, dans, 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 en, en la matière, là, les, les aspects techniques euh, des frais de scolarité, mais euh, ce qu'on a annoncé, euh, à savoir qu'on va rendre ça beaucoup plus difficile pour les étudiants euh, à l'international de venir étudier au, 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 euh, au Québec, à McGill, à Concordia, à Bishops, c'est pas une... Ça, évidemment, ça, 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 ça vient... Euh, ça vient miner ces institutions et euh, ça prend des bonnes, euh, des bonnes institutions euh, euh, post-secondaires euh, au Québec, au Canada, euh, euh, dans n'importe laquelle économie dans, euh, dans le monde, là, pour pouvoir attirer les gens et bâtir une économie prospère. Alors, c'est euh, quant à moi, là, on ne réfléchit pas beaucoup à l'avenir. Vous croyez vraiment qu'il y a des étudiants qui ne viendraient pas au Québec parce qu'on augmente les frais? Bien, écoutez, lorsqu'on augmente le prix de quelque chose, ça décourage toujours des gens. Là. Ça, on ne sait pas qui ça va décourager, mais euh, ça vient, euh, ça vient euh, retirer des, un financement important à, à des institutions euh, euh, qui, euh, qui, évidemment, ont toujours besoin d'être bien financées là, pour attirer euh, les meilleurs de partout à travers le monde. Donc, le Québec devrait subventionner les, les étudiants ontariens? Euh, bien, écoutez... Euh, <rire> Euh, Alors que l'Ontario ne fait pas la même chose que le Québec. Mais est-ce qu'on me semble qu'on on vise certaines institutions là C'est ça le problème, c'est qu'on vise certaines institutions. Et puis oui. Et puis euh, euh, alors ça c'est un problème. Deuxièmement, si on veut bâtir une économie prospère, un, un, un avenir euh, 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 du Québec fort, là, je pense qu'il faut investir dans l'éducation. Ça c'est euh, c'est une donnée, c'est une donnée, c'est une donnée que tout le monde accepte. Il faut investir dans l'éducation pour l'avenir pour, pour l'avenir de l'économie et pour la force d'une société. Vous devrez pour les Ontariens, c'est ça que vous dites? 